tick. Yeah, they might have heard three players shoot at that. And they're certainly about to face the contact with four about to burst out of the smoke. Alpha closes out that door, but he's being revealed. He's being blinded. Still decent damage. Boaster tries to follow up and actually gets out for free. Two kills and they reset completely. Bankai has to find value on this flank, but the players, they're not obliging. They're going back. They fake the steps all the way, actually. It seems they have an idea he left. could be close, and they're being very vigilant about checking it. I thought for a split second they were just going to run straight past. I was like, no, please. After doing so well in this early engagement, already the rotation has come through, though. And this might be an expectation of a much cleaner sight. Even still, though, the initial awareness dissipates. Benkai all oh, runs out of bullets. And while well, Durka was still here all along, leaving Forsaken to try and clutch this one. Oh, he's right in front of him. But even that has bought enough time. for that it could take trees in the wild are just getting into that A site. How did that not see Durka? Okay, well, they've taken him down anyways. That Prowler went straight past him. The, the angle must have been just right, but I'm sure he's surprised to still be caught off on that fight on short. Good connection by Forsaken. That's the Vandal gone, and now Enzo, who was supposed to be the bait for the player up close, is having to retreat to the site. That was close. Dodging bullet. It wasn't close. It was on. He's 5 HP now. Too slow. Oh, that's the B site completely fallen. You've got a Lurk in mid as well, if there's any rotation through there. And Mystic is slowly walking to what seems like his demise. A free kill for Mayan Free is walk. You kind of expect him to be a little bit deeper. Instead, though, you're going to have the Showstopper from Jiggy. does a lot of damage, but actually Enzo lands the shot, taking one at least. And still a couple of players are around this angle. The wall's been used to almost give them an avenue back in on the retake. But with the Lurk finding Mystic, they might just rotate here. Yeah, that got Durka pulling back out of mid as well. Forsaken fills in that information, fills in the gap. And on short, that battle going down, it has Durka fully distracted. That calls for reinforcements and definitely have a gun. And you know what? I like Duck having a gun as well. Yeah, they might expect it in this round. It could be a next level play out of Durka, but he's not in the right position to find them. They've gone in towards the A side, and well, Dirk is now left in mid, up in hand, no shields. And an Odin for Enzo spraying away, finding nothing. Durka won't even get a chance. He's going to try to make a move sometime soon. Oh, oh. Oh, for sake of this. He's just gone walking into the site alone. The danger of this man. And they've even hey, spotted Boaster. This leaves just Alfia at the back of the site. He might have a res. He's even walled himself in. He's like, you know what? If you want to push me, you have to try and get through the tiniest corner in existence. This is such a ridiculous way to try to sit. And of course, Forsaken just walks in. So that Prowler was breaking the wall. The wall broke. Forsaken went around the other side. I don't know if there was a gap that wasn't checked or the wall breaking drew the attention. But either way, Boaster here on 4 HP. 27 for Mystic. It's fair to say Dirk is going to have to do the heavy lifting on this one. He's at least found the first. That's Forsaken down. Suppression. Not going to have any post plant stars or anything like that to worry about. Fnatic getting their way into the site. Benkai around the nade, but he's only able for the one. And a quick take down Durka, who just promptly TP'd out and had Mystic walk through and take the kill. Forsaken trying to take space elsewhere, is caught by that double push out of Fnatic. And at this point, again, Paper X, they stall out. Three versus five, no real map control. And I mean, you still have that AWP of Boaster to worry about. Didn't think I'd be saying that. You know, we'll see. He's basically just holding the most passive angle ever. Like <laughs> that's probably the reason behind Opping it. In our it's spawn. Just like, yeah, he's, he's just camping. holding the cross. He's actually camping. He is it's one he of is. the only times <laughs> you'll actually see that. But yeah, right in their spawn. The pressure is on B though. At least that's how what it seems like. Mind freak. He might just have thread the needle. I think he did. But Durka saves the day anyways. Spike catching that frag. B. Spike down on B. Bankai, not that pressured oh. for time, and with Enzo gone, he might even get a plant out of this. The poster's up. In a little bit, they could be pushing A right now. There'd be no information there. Two players already going to be stunned up on site. Not able to hear a damn thing. Deafened as the showstopper comes in. It's not finding the kill. It's not finding Ooh. anything, but Jing made online for the back. That should be an nice, easy kill. And so the plant comes through. Paper X, 4v2. Operator on Turk for the retake. Certainly not ideal, but he's moving it towards middle. And Tom, I see Device sitting around there. It seems like they do expect the lurk in every spot, but Device locking him in under. Trying to give him that extra little bit of space. Boaster fighting within the smoke. And actually, Jing has gone down. 
Mystic being able to catch him out, smoking off the cross. They can actually start getting on the defusal. They need to watch out though. Mind Freak is lurking in the back lines. You've seen the rares already come through, and while Benkai is the only man standing, he's done a lot of damage onto the players, trying to get that defusal, even manages to get the connection onto Boaster. They're trying to pressure him, and eventually they will. It will be a 6 6 goal. Boom bot, it gave the distraction that was needed, the timing for Forsaken, and now he's back over to short, ready to hold down. But the team resets, they move through mid. You know, we TP'd out of here a moment ago, that flash is good. Divai doesn't realize they've gone past him. They're in the spawn behind, and Divai has no idea. Durka able to take one before going down. That mistake corrected, and then doubled down on beautiful, leaving Boaster alone. Well, he is just being surrounded, pushed uh, on every side, but it looks like he's gonna okay, hold okay. strong <laughs> a little bit longer. Yes, they are. And the flash up top as well. Thing is, this is kind of being given away. They're not ready though. Fnatic not reading into the blast pack play. They've been caught off. And now that push comes through from main. These forces, so nice. they group up. They're combined, but a dagger trying to make his way in behind them. They've spotted him just in time though. I don't think he's getting out. Oh, he is getting out of this um, one. Mind Freak's gone as well to be sides under threat. It's Jing that has to save the day, and he's gone too. This is winnable. Oh, it should be winnable from here now. Forsaken left with his headhunter in hand. They might not expect him to be here so soon. That's the only real surprise. Wall up, but it hasn't really covered Ooh. off anything. In fact, it's left a gap that he's just going to walk see the straight gap. through. I don't think they've spotted it yet. A chance for Forsaken down into the one versus one. But he's read this wrong. He expects Boaster to be wrapping back around. Instead, Boaster still sits within the boathouse. A chance for Forsaken. He picks up a rifle along the way as well. A bullet or two needed, but he's given away his position. Almost trying to bait him in, and eventually Boaster. Forsaken would put his anchor at far forward straight away. Nobody else, but already they've managed to delay. Alpha here has caught one though, and Divide just completely blinded by the paranoia. Most has come out with a tasty couple of assists there. A nice shot back from Forsaken though, the spam even doing further damage! Oh! And he just got two for one! It's gonna go down into Spike Jing, down. face him off against Boaster. He could TP, and now Boaster's bought enough time for himself to wrap all the way back around on the flank. A single bullet needed, and I don't think Jing has made the realization he'll finally work it out, TP to the other side, but he hasn't even managed to get it close to halfway. Boaster almost just playing with his food as the peak comes out. A fantastic clutch from Boaster. So dangerous when he gets in this zone. And actually, Boast has gone down, trying to sneak his way through again. And now it's just free. It's so free. That's a spike on the deck. Dirk has been able to take one back, but he has to go on a retrieval mission. Yeah, you're peeking right into this op. Uh, there's not a lot that can get them across on this. It looks like they might just want to dry peek into this. A little bit of utility to clear co close corner, but... They didn't get the spike. They haven't got it. No, they're not even close. They're still worried about him. Finally, though, a star comes back online. It looks like we might have an attempt out of the defensive side to, to crunch in on that spike. Getting past Both the utility for a moment. So they, sides are open. They, they used the smoke to walk past the trap on A, but then have gone back completely. And Fnatic, you know, meanwhile, they're letting them do all this, these little mind games and so on, and they'll just take B. It's simple a couple of times. Bankai, though, winning that duel versus connect onto him. So Dirk is still going to have. All is sound. Waiting, nice shot from Alpha here as well. But the shot missed from Durka. Turning it back into that 2v2 scenario. And looking to try and swing into this operator. A second miss. And now Alpha is the last man standing. All he has is his pistol. Trying to turn this around. The first goes his way, but Mime Freak on TPing into the site. Alpha as well up on the wall. This could be a nasty surprise for Benkai. He's being pressured from all angles. And eventually Alpha will take him down. Sight in. Jingo's just gone through, but he hasn't managed to connect again. The showstopper seems meaningless. He just uses it to blast himself into the air. He's trying to fight back, and he somehow gets another one. Eventually, he's put in the dirt, but he's done enough. His teammates even it again. I don't know how Jing's managed to keep them alive in this one, but still, that heartbeat is starting to become faint and fanatic. Fade away oh, completely. As well, to try and slow them down if needed. No ultimates available either for Fnatic, so getting in here is not going to be easy. Unless, of course, Mystic just pops. He just headshot. jumped into it! He jumped He jumped into the knife while he had the two. Oh, no! The showstopper was out, and then he just completely ruined it. Fnatic walk out.
find it easily. Jing dealt with in heaven, and that is a disaster for uh, the old Yu. Uh, how, how has he gotten to? I don't know, but it seems like they've gone tunnel vision into their position. Somehow, Mind Freak has brought this back into a winnable position, knowing roughly where a couple of these players are. Enzo just sat around the generator. One player almost directly below him making this drop should be instant death, but he's actually got a little bit further. He isolates the first, and there's no trade for Enzo. This 1v4 is on, and it leaves it down just to one man standing, pinged up by the haunt, looking for the final player, and somehow, Mind Freak brings... Anyway, I, I, I don't know how he's getting away with this. It's almost like, I, I, if I don't see you, you don't see me, but somehow it's worked out for them. Forsaken still gets the kill onto Enzo. It has left him very low on HP, but what Alpha Year has already done in this round, well, I, I don't even want to say it should be enough because they just lost a 1v4. That was an ambitious attempt out of Paper X, something that's had a lot of success for them in the past. Yeah. And honestly, the difference this time is just that that flash blinded Jing. If it doesn't, they win. If that goes the way yeah. it did the last two, three times, he's good for one minimum and it will be the Sage taken out. But instead, we come back into this with Alpha, two kills under his belt already. Aggression attempted and succeeded. Fnatic on their way to the A site, only Forsaken in their way! What? He's caught Mystic on the fade back and keeping control, a foothold of the A site. They've got to cross him. They've got to face him down or smoke him out. And that's what they're going to do, the ladder. But he's not done. Uh, Forsaken, uh, why are you thinking about going through it with 11 HP and Alpha Year punishes? <laughs> Round a half, like it's not ideal, but Jing's gone. He's sending it again. The reveal's huge. Whoa. Jing's got two. That play has been teased again and again. And finally, Paper X get the success out. He's had the success before. He won them that round on B. But Benkai, frenzy in hand. No way it's the frenzy to do it. The spike remains in Fnatic's hands, but they've only got 10 seconds to get it planted. They're closing in on the site. That smoke actually allows Divide to stay alive. They've got it planned, and they'll get it done. Just about a two versus two emerges. Oh, chance, Foster. Ah! He's going to get dinked up. Both players tagged, and now it's left on to Enzo. Acquired a game from him thus far. Needs to try and isolate one of these jewels. And he goes looking, Forsaken facing the other way. He's heard that window broken, and now looks to try and wrap around behind them, knowing that both players are coming through this door, waiting for that initial fight, and he finds it. Mind Freak once again left into the clutch. I'm gonna tap onto that spike. In fact, he's looking to try and stick it at least halfway. The horn has given him away, and it's a rematch from before. And once again, Mind Freak is gonna win it. Paper X, they have taken map one. Going back in the other direction. I feel like the Vi might be about to spot. In fact, he's just dropped it on the floor. The aggression then comes out of Jing, taking down a weakened Durka. This is already looking troublesome for the side of Fnatic, trying to find a way back into this round. What has happened with this crosshair? <laughs> Something else from the Vi. He must just play like a, a weird res. I don't believe it's actually that size. Okay, Boaster. I feel like this happens in a lot of pistol rounds where everybody's dead and then Boaster's like, ah, don't no worry guys, I'll get two kills and then lose. You heard the extra TP Ten as well. Seconds Ten left. seconds left. Just about timing that to get out. I think he'll get a plant quite open. Well, not at all. In fact, he didn't have the time by the time he made it to the corner, Forsaken. Gun here. For Bath and sure it was just good timing by Fnatic catching them off guard that they'd retake it back and beat so close but uh, all right Jing flashed up picks up another weapon and takes the kill of course he does now he's blast packing out on mid who's surprised nade down in bathroom and still hunting them his teammates fighting is behind on mid trying to get them a little bit of space meanwhile he's carved out bathroom control the poster Building that duel, it might be enough. Devise left alone and having to get the defuse against two very different angles and a bit of utility to annoy him. This round's done for Devai. The question is, can he even get out at this point without taking Lurking within the smoke, you can see the spam even coming through from Dirk as he leads the charge. And actually, straight away, Showstopper actually utilized. He's again! He somehow gets way further than he Spike should do without being shut down. And the trade's coming back and forth. Spike on the ground and isolated behind the smoke, but they do have a man advantage. Wow, Bowser. He'd even be checked as well. But another kill that goes his way. He's low, but three players peeking guarantees the round for Fnatic. Trouble, though. Oh, okay. The flash play in for Sinkin. Tended to style up on them, but the shots don't land. Benkai is forced out of bath and taken down. They have just dropped the spike in the open, but holding it seems to be a tall task. 
pressure with the stinger. I don't know how Jing seems to get away with so much. And now because of that, Nightfall is going to be invested. A quick reposition though from Fnatic. They're going to try and get out the back. And more importantly, Enzo, he's still holding on here. But Enzo, how's he doing this match with the stinger? It's third kill of the round. And they know these players have run right down to the side, right? They were seeing those trails for a moment, saw them swing right. With that plan going down, Fnatic have players right behind them. And oh, Jing, that was ambitious. He has been traded and Mind Freak doubles up. One HP on Divai. Smoked off long and he's creeping his way right up close. They're about to use an ult to try and get their way in towards the site, but they have no idea that this lunatic is stood up close to the smoke. And he's being pushed behind. Mind Freak gets one and then Jing dealt with. Taken down, Paper Rex falling behind, and it's Divai isolated on the site now. He could be in a lot of trouble. There's not a lot of places they have left to clear. One of them is his position right now. Just waiting below. They've smoked it off. He's managed to hide oh. in their smoke. He's using it against them. It seems like Enzo might be aware oh. of the potential, but instead he's just bypassed all of them. You're going to see the rolling thunder, and Badachi has pushed them away. Enzo now gets the kill, and Devai is still just hunting for him. He's been in this position the whole time, and he's caught instead. What is this round? Fnatic are ready for these sort of aggressive plays to be made, although Booster. Might be in a little bit of trouble. His counter utility has kept him alive. They are trying their best to spam him down. But in fact, he is just waiting for the cavalry. And then it comes in the form of Alpha. Yeah, yeah great safety net for Fnatic. They realize the possibility on the low buy of those pushes coming through is pretty high. I thought it was interesting that Forsaken left his TP, his gate crash, inside of the teleporter. Uh, ultimate used as well. Extra info. One player spotted, but mid is a. He hasn't seen anyone. He hasn't seen any. Oh, okay. There's one at least spotted. He's going to complete the TP. Catching it. So and the spy. Uh, through the ultimate, through a smoke. And this round is falling to pieces. Fnatic not able to do anything with Mystic as a 1v4 contested spike in front of him. Hey, that's something. But uh, not, not too spot. much hope in this one. Tries to take the fight rather than facing off against the Haunt. And well, this is a team that likes to blur those offensive lines. A little bit of trouble for Forsaken, but he's got his TP to get out. Yeah, that's the thing. It's a one-for-one -one trade, but ultimately it disrupts everything that Fnatic are trying to do. It takes Mystic out, which is a lot of your initiation already dissipated. And just look up. Look, look where he is. It, it's not like he's... I, I said fallen back as the <laughs> loosest of terms. Yes. Because he is closer to their spawn than they are. You've also had the Lurk attempted by Durka, which has found absolutely nothing. That was just a peek in towards Hooker. And in the meantime, they are just buying time. They're throwing down little bits of utility. Like, yeah, guys, you know, maybe you want to fall back here. Maybe you want to try and go back in the other direction. Alphia, though, with the swing. And now Jing's in quite a bit of trouble. He got stuck. There's, there's no way out for Jing. Completely trapped underneath the site. He survived, though, at least for a while. I don't know if he's bought enough time, though. They're clearing every angle. Seeing nothing. Plant coming through. The timing for Forsaken. It's absolutely perfect. He's in there and catching the both of them. Moments away, they need to get this plant through, and it doesn't look like they want to use it. No, but maybe they should have done. They've been hit by Nightfall. They've been dropped by Jing. TP for Alvia and Forsaken's just waiting. They are falling for every single trap that's put into place by the side of Paper X. No spot on this map is safe, and Enzo's left. trying to look behind. Look, is actually going to stick this plant. It leaves him completely oh. alone. In fact, he doesn't even get it down. down. The last man standing, trying to rotate through. And guess what? Forsaken is there again. To be the hero to come online. I would agree, but right now, I think I'd have to look to Alpha here, because every single member of this squad <gasps> is just running straight at him. The TP setup, they're waiting for it, and they've been slaughtered within the first few seconds. Oh, wow. APAC has come to play here. This pistol could be a nail in the coffin for Fnatic. Remember, in that first half, we saw them find these five rounds. I believe they won the pistol, though, right? They won that 2-0 to zero lead, and then it gets snatched out of their hands. Paper Rex in a very strong spot if they close this out. Durka and Boaster. Oh, good read by Boaster, but the shot doesn't land to start with Mind Freak extending the advantage into a near impossible to lose situation. Anything is possible when this man starts moving with those packs. He's already towards the back of the site. He's on top, in fact. I don't know that they're aware of this. I mean, that smoke up top, it's certainly gonna get your spidey senses tingling. But they don't know exactly where he is. The drop down's perfect. An assassination from Jing. And he'll only find the one, though. Durka at least keeping them alive in that one, keeping the favor theirs. But they have now lost the team, lost the spike. 
but not lost the advantage. Two versus four. No, and you can see there was a, an attempt, or at least an idea from Enzo to maybe try and beat them, but at this point, play the numbers. Get yourself into a position where you're not going to lose too many weapons here, and more importantly, you're going to make sure you close this round! The star oh, shot already, and actually, the peek out from Venkai. Maybe he should have kept that rifle all along. They've turned into a close scenario. I think Alvia has spotted Davai, but now it leaves the IGL a chance to clutch his out. I don't think he has any idea where his opponent oh. is coming from. Still gets nice. to take that off the screen. That's not a nice buy. On this map, though, I know. Could flash. Oh, they don't expect Jink to be so Whoa. far forward. He's it, going. He's going straight for him, and he's going to get taken out, oh. but it's a fine trade. Lunatic. I have to say it once again, absolute lunatic, but he has so much success playing at the highest level, almost like it's a pug. The more now, they are stuck at the back of this site. You've also seen the TP in, Forsaken, he's trying to hit the headshot, eventually he'll get it done. They still can't clear him from this corner. It's going to go down, I think they're just waiting for it. 30 seconds left. The question is where do he place this? In fact, they don't place it at all, straight into the site, but caught up. Lowered on HP and Fnatic are holding strong. A couple of players remain. Benkai has been able to find one back. At least making this a little bit more competitive, but solid positioning from Give them that extra little bit of space, but ultimately it's old spam that's found very, very little to counter out as Benkai dies, but he does manage to get the spike down. Forsaken's aggressive position has now been spotted, so he has to try and get out of there, and Alfia is just watching that TP, not allowing for any more shenanigans. It's got to be the most ambitious TP we've seen attempted. On the way through here, Devai got his own little shield in the form of the Cosmic Devai, but there's a player inside it with him. Deadly. Seekers at least is going to give the information away. One of them does bypass Jing, but he should have a decent idea. In fact, he swings! Just swings straight out! Him and Mind Freak quickly find a couple of kills. Enzo with solid trades, though! Leaves one man. It's Benkai trying to fight back versus two. He still has an aftershock, but whether it will have too much value from this position, I'm not so sure. Needs to try and re-aggress a little bit just to try and deny them that extra space. There goes the aftershock to buy a little bit of extra time. Not many bullets left in the clip. He's got to try and go for one of these fights. Reload goes through, but Enzo, a solid round out from him. Out of value. It's covering long. It's catching one player. In she goes, Jing catching the frag, but has enough space being bought? These players are still stuck in their corners, still hiding away, and Paper X need to root them out. The spike is being planted, and Fnatic can't do anything about it. They're a little bit too far back. The Molly completely locked them out. And a post plan setup now, one away from Orbital Strike on Mind Freak. That's Kill here from him, put this one to bed. A quick push though, Devi is dropped. A showstopper available, but a target yet to be found. Maybe trying to force the back, but no, Forsaken lands the instant headshot. And now Enzo is needed once again. Not knowing where that second player is going to be, just trying to stick it all the way to half. He's managed to get it that far at least, but still needs to win these duels. And the time is ticking down. They're playing it perfectly. Forsaken will get to try and fight it back. Darker is sticking around. He wants this fight. Now they're not going to really get anything off of the seas. The keep coming through, and he's going to land the shot out of there. And now the pressure comes on to Forsaken. He oh! found the flashing hand, almost manages to dance his way out of there, but the advantage is kept. The post plant not going to be as strong as it could be, but Fnatic don't know that already tapping oh, Orbital Strike no. coming through. Great stun. Durka in trouble. He's lit down to just one HP. Mind Freak grabs a frag, and I don't know if he expects him to be close, but it doesn't matter. The shots land, and Divide delivers. Paper Rex are going to the upper final. It seems like this team just has a date with Destiny as they look to take the easy way through. These guys might be just having some fun, is the way they put it, Mitch. But realistically, they are now just one game away from making it into the grand final. A world-class team.